one meteorologist Caitlin Fish here with your weatherwise lesson for today. We're just a few weeks away from the start of hurricane season and you're probably thinking, wait, we don't live near the ocean here in Kentucky and Indiana. How would a hurricane impact us? First, let's talk about what a hurricane actually is, and then we'll get to that. Hurricanes a strong a tropical low pressure system with plenty of thunderstorms, but no organized frontal boundaries around it. Winds in the storm must be sustained at 74 miles per hour or greater. In hurricane season, when we're most likely to see these storms, runs from June 1st until November 30th. Hurricane strength is determined by maximum sustained winds within a storm and there are five categories. Once a storm reaches category three status, it's considered a major hurricane. No matter the number, any size hurricane can inflict significant damage potential. The potential a storm can produce is generally divided into four quadrants. If the storm is moving due north, land in the path of the front right quadrant will feel the most storm impact. This includes storm surge, flooding, wind gusts, and the potential for a hurricane to even even produce a few tornadoes. The front left quadrant still produces significant storm surge, but possibly less wind impacts. The back right is where winds can really pick up, and the back left quadrant is considered the weakest of the storm. It certainly can still do a lot of damage as that hurricane moves ashore. Storms are named once they reach tropical storm status. Here's a list of this year's names. They range from Arthur to Wilfred and will be assigned in alphabetical order as storms occur. This year, AccuWeather scientists are predicting we'll see between 14 and 18 named storms, which is an above average year. That means we may reach names somewhere between Nana and Sally on our list. Some here in Kentuckiana may remember hurricanes making an impact in our region. A few of those in recent decades are Hurricane Opal in 1995, Hurricane Dennis in 2005, and Hurricane Ike in 2008. Opal and Dennis caused large amounts of rain to fall in Kentuckiana, but Ike's winds and rainfall may have caused the most damage, nearly $1 billion worth for the Ohio Valley and 28 deaths. So while hurricanes are tropical systems and they tend to impact those on the coastlines, the most uh, we still have to take them seriously here in Kentuckiana. We'll be keeping an eye on the tropics as we get closer to hurricane season. For WHAS 11, I'm meteorologist Caitlin Fish.